I want to welcome you back to Black Side tonight. We're going to talk about civil rights leaders and black activists should apologize to FBA and ADOS for demanding that people vote for Joe Biden. First, I would like for you to subscribe to this channel, hit that like button, hit that notification button, but also comment on this video. The civil rights leadership and black activists all around the country said vote for Joe Biden. We must get the orange man out of office. But right now it's time for them to apologize to ADOS FBA for demanding that black America support Joe Biden. We all told you what Joe Biden was going to do, but none of you listened. We told you about the crime bill. We told you about his history going back to the 70s in which he was against any type of integration and in that his mentor was a Mississippi senator who happened to be a segregationist. But now that the Haitians are treated like slaves at the border, being whipped. Now you see the same so-called civil rights leadership and black activists come out against the Biden administration. Now that you see those like the special envoy to Haiti resign Daniel Foote because of the inhumane treatment of Haitians at the border. But we all told you so. When Joe Biden opened up that border, he didn't open up the border for people of African descent. He opened up that border for Hispanics, white Hispanics, to cross that border and become part of the United States. But these so-called black activists and civil rights leaders are the same people who've been driving this car for the last 60 years. And they've been driving it off the road, off a cliff. And we've been slowly but surely going down. But now they're running to the border. Now they're on our side. Now you see Al Sharpton, of course, activated by the White House. You see my son, Tamika Mallory. I even seen the scam, Jay Morrison, going down to the border. They all got to go down there to show their face because it's time to get that Skrilla or what we would call money. Because the administration is going to need somebody with a black face to come in and take over the issue and say Joe Biden said that he will fix this situation which he won't because he never has Joe Biden is the man that we told you he was we told you he was a snake the first thing he does when he comes in the White House he takes care of the LGBTQ community. He gives special designation under the civil rights laws to the Asians. He gives billions of dollars to the Native Americans. But he gives you nothing. See, the color of your skin matters to Joe Biden because it always has. Joe Biden has requested $6.4 billion for Afghan refugee resettlement. When has he ever said he was going to allocate money just for ADOS or FBA? All of them will receive checks. See, Joe Biden and his cronies who are behind the open borders. They don't want you here. And this is how they really feel. 
but now your activists hopefully have seen the light. You have seen posts on Tamika Mallory's website. You have seen posts on Sean King's website. You have even seen posts on D.L. Hughley's website. A man who spent four years attacking Trump and was telling you, vote for Joe, vote for Joe. And after eight months of the worst administration I have ever seen, we have failed Afghanistan. We have inflation. We have high food prices, gas prices, border crisis, international crisis, any other crisis you can think of under this administration. But these are the people who are supposed to be guiding you to the promised land. And when you have activists and civil rights leaders who constantly makes these type of mistakes they don't deserve to lead because they're only making these judgments or telling you to vote for a certain person because it depends on how much they get in the end we told you that this man was dangerous the man is senile and he's making decisions that will affect ADOS and FBA. When many of these people come into the country, where do they settle? Do they settle in the suburbs? Do they settle in the country? They come in and settle in the inner cities of America, which is already dense and populated. They go to our public schools and they take up more space. And instead of having 25 children in a class, it goes up to 32. And they don't even know the, or their own language, English language. These are the people who so-called are for you, but they're not. Whatever happened to that black and brown coalition? I went to La Raza Red Sox. I didn't see them say anything. I went to the Hispanic Caucus. They didn't say anything. But what happened to AOC? Why isn't she out in front of the White House screaming at the top of her lungs? Because she already knows the game. The more my people get into this country, the more power we have. The more we can control America and eventually control black America. See, we don't know the game. It's being run on us. We are one dimensional thinkers in a three dimensional game. These people we call activists and civil rights leaders are nothing but hustlers and pimps. And I'm sorry to say that. We are in a dire situation in America because of bad leadership. And the decisions that we make today affect our children 10, 20, 30 years down the line. And as you have seen today, in our community, the decisions that we made in the 90s, 2000s, have affected our community in a bad way. We can no longer follow people who make mistakes and never be punished for their crimes. If a general loses a battle or a war, he is put aside and replaced. It is time that we replace this civil rights leadership and these black activists because we damn sure not winning this war. I want to thank you for listening to Black Sight. I hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button, but also share this video.